Welcome to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel and in today's video we will see that uh, how to uninstall or completely remove the unwanted applications that uh, get installed automatically with the Windows 10 or Windows 11. So whenever we install uh, the operating system Windows 10 or 11 some uh, applications that we don't really use for example the email application the calendar application and there are so many applications like cortana so these kind of applications they are not used by so many of us but still it's forced by microsoft in these operating systems and there is no any way to directly uninstall these applications although you can use the powershell and uninstall it through the powershell commands but still if you are looking for the easiest way to remove to get rid of these applications I'll show you in this video so let's proceed with the video so what you need to do is to open your web browser and search for O and O app buster so this is an application which is a freeware which is a free application you won't have to pay anything for this and after using this application you will be easily able to remove the unwanted applications from your Windows operating system so let's go ahead and download it and run and let's see that how does it work. So if you search for O and O App Buster, you'll see this website oo-software.com oo app buster. Open this link from the search results and then you'll see the option to download it. So to be able to download it, just uh, click on download here and it will ask you to save the file you can save it to the desktop just go to the desktop and click on save now the file has been saved you can see that it's been saved here you may close the web browser now and run this application oopb.exe so right click on this application the exe file and click on run as, as, as administrator Click on run as administrator and the application will initiate shortly. And the best thing about this application is that you do not have to install it. It's a, a direct application. You can just download it and run it. That's it. So it's scanning for the applications that are installed in the operating system. So we'll have to wait for a few seconds while it's uh, searching for the applications. So here you can see that it has found around uh, 110 applications that have been installed and uh, 56 apps are currently not visible because these are the system apps. So if you want to view these apps, you just have to click on view menu here and then click on system apps. After clicking on system apps, you'll be able to see the other hidden applications as well and if you want to see the framework applications you can click on here framework apps but framework apps they are required to run the operating system so that's why it's not recommended to uninstall any of the framework applications so now let's uh, look for the applications that uh, uh, we do not need for example this is the 3d viewer i don't want to use it i don't use it in real life Clipchamp is fine, okay, and Groove Music, I do not need this one as well. Microsoft News is also not required for me. Microsoft People is also of no use to me. And Teams, tips, okay, Microsoft To Do, I do not need it. Or let's leave it uh, because I use it sometimes, so I don't have any problem with that. Microsoft Movies and TV, I don't need this one. Okay, so pretty much of it has been selected and uh, let's proceed with the uninstallation. So once you are done with the selection of the unwanted applications that you want to uninstall from a PC, you just have to click on uh, remove option here. So click on remove and uh, then select the machine. So with these three options, the current user, uh, this option will uninstall the application only from the user account that is logged in to the computer currently all users it will remove the applications uh, from uh, all the users that have been created for the operating system and machine it will remove the applications at the machine level so they'll be completely gone from the device so i selected machine and then click on ok 
it will ask you to create a system restore point if you want to create a system restore point you may click on yes and it will create a system restore point so that in case if something wrong happens you can always switch back to the working system restore point so i don't need it because i already have a system restore point available in my computer i already created a few days ago so that's why i'll click on no and then proceed with the uninstallation so after clicking on no you can see that it has started uninstalling the applications from microsoft uh, windows 11. so five applications are there among which the first one is being uninstalled microsoft people so we just have to wait here until the uninstallation gets completed for all the applications. Groove Music is now being uninstalled. Now Movies and TV is being uninstalled. Now 3D Weaver is being uninstalled. One more to go. And Microsoft News is being uninstalled. that's it you can see that uh, the uninstallation finished successfully uh, these applications are no longer available in the machine we can just click on close here and then click on close in o and o app buster so you can see that uh, the applications that we uninstalled they no longer appear here in the list so click on close and let me search for microsoft news first so if i type news here you can see that news application is not there in the same way 3d viewer it's not here so it's completely uninstalled from the machine and that was pretty simple you just have to run the application the ono app buster and then go with the uninstallation process so i hope you liked the video and uh, if you liked the video make sure to subscribe to the channel so that uh, uh, if i upload a new video you'll get email regarding the same and click on the bell icon as well to get the notification in your YouTube account. And if you have any queries, you may comment below and I'll try to answer all your queries there. So thank you again and thank you for visiting PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel. Thank you for supporting me. Have a good day ahead. Stay safe. Bye-bye.